One advantage for me personally coming to events like this is actually the lovely relationships that I'm picking up, contacts that I'm building, and also the number of wonderful people I'm meeting. For example, yesterday coming on the flight, I met with Ms. Um, Dr. Mavis Sabanda, who actually went to college in the same town where I did in Chandigarh in India and now she is the uh, Secretary of Industries in Zimbabwe. We had a wonderful dialogue on quality infrastructure and she is actually seeking support of IEC for delivering on uh, quality infrastructure for the country. I had the rare privilege of meeting once again my friend Rachel Kite who till recently you will recall was the CEO of SE for All, which is Sustainable Electricity for All initiative of the UNDP. She has now, of course, given up that role and moved on to climate finance. She's also full-time engaged with the Tufts University and an amazing person to be involved with. Her message was that we really need to bring genuine funding to climate action. Otherwise, all of this will not take place. It was indeed a pleasure hearing uh, the Swedish Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Stefan Lofven, who spoke about how Sweden as a country is, is pivoting itself for the future around climate action. In fact, he gave an incredible example of uh, <clears throat> mining in North Sweden, where the entire mines have already become uh, carbon neutral. He was talking about the steel industry over there, which is rapidly going toward uh, carbon neutrality. I think these are great examples to follow and we need to kind of work with some of these examples to bring some of their practices into standardization work we do at IEC. It was today a pleasure to uh, listen to Sir Richard Attenborough, who in his own unique style was talking about how climate action is here and now and it's not about delaying any action. I had also the privilege of meeting this very young professional, uh, Eri Yamasumi of uh, the UNDP office itself. She's a program specialist and she's here as support for the UNDP team working on climate action. Then I had the privilege of meeting uh, Mr. Satako Matsuda. Do excuse me for mispronouncing names. Uh, he is part of the Japanese uh, pavilion here and representing Mitsubishi which is doing some amazing work on uh, decarbonization technologies. Then of course it was interesting to uh, meet with, interact with uh, Theodore Swedmark uh, who is from ABB, he is the Chief Sustainability Officer of ABB and he was talking about what his expectations here at uh, COP26 were from the political leadership in terms of policy and uh, innovations and he was talking about how ABB itself is providing a lot of innovation and my question to him which he agreed fully was hey you're talking about innovation but how do you take ABB's innovations worldwide and of course the answer purely was international standards. With this I uh, conclude my report today. It's been an amazing experience and I look forward to coming back to you again tomorrow. Uh, interestingly, as a sidelight, these IEC SDG pins, these are a hot seller. A lot of people here were wearing the SDG pins which were round with all the colors but are hollow inside. Now we are actually putting IEC at the center of the SDGs. With this, uh, goodbye and I'll try and reach out to you tomorrow again. Thank you. Bye-bye.